There are lots of things that we can talk about apart from your suit, and I do want to just spend a few minutes sure. doing that. Um, people talk a lot of, about Arsenal with you. A little mention on Portsmouth. Lee said, I really yeah, wanted Tony it. Adams to do well at Portsmouth, but we were so crushed behind the scenes. No one could have steered us to calm waters. A case of just the wrong time. Yeah. I'm so glad to see Tony looking well. Thank Tell you. us what that was. Uh, only 16 games I had, and the club was a bit like the Sunderland scenario. <laughs> it was doomed, to be honest with you. And uh, I won two games there, kept them in the division. But it was uh, his impossible job. Obviously. So you, right, you go in, whole, could, day one, rock and a hard place. Tell me. us why it's an impossible job. Uh, I kind of knew what was happening at Spurs. Um, and I kind of should have really resigned in the summer. And I actually wrote into Peter Story, gave him the letter and said, look, I've resigned. And he kind of put it in his pocket and said, look, why don't you be coach here <laughs> instead? Um, and I kind of went, OK. Um, I knew, I think I get the experience in you don't know you like you know maybe Simon was at Sunderland you kind of go you know Pompey a fantastic club the supporters are, mm. are brilliant absolutely think if brilliant. it can work yeah you know you think oh maybe okay a new owner might come in turn it around and the clubs you know out and given an opportunity to someone else where it mm. could have been great you know the fans come up to me now and say you know we had a fantastic, fantastic couple of years there, and uh, I, I enjoyed every minute of it. Harry gave me a free enough rope to hang myself. He said, "Go on, son." <laughs> go, go, do you go reflect and, and think and that you made mistakes, or do you think that, as you've said, it was simply the impossible job? I think I did well winning two games, to be honest. Really? You know, it was it was doomed, and uh, all the players wanted to jump ship. The the owner sat down with me before Christmas and said, "Look, Tone." My father's assets have been frozen. Um, I've got not a penny and by all accounts, we need another six million by the end of January or we're going to administration. That's not coaching. That's not management. That's running football clubs. Yeah. You know, if you ain't got that base to start with, you ain't, you know, Frank Lampard at all. You ain't got a chance. You ain't got a chance. You know, Sunderland, you ain't got a chance. You can't go and do your work and bring a, a, a good group of lads in and work with them. You know, I, I never had a go. I never had a go there. What about Arsenal? Do you, do you still dream of one day managing the Arsenal? Yeah, it's a different... I think modern management, you've got to kind of look at it. It's changing. It's obviously the average career of a coach now is about under a year. And around. And it's obviously, for me, it's not working. You, you need a team. You know, pretty much you know Team Adams or whatever it is. You need a few of you... That you Frank's gone in with Jody Morris, we said earlier. You, you need your fitness coach. You the thing is as well, Sean, you need that little bit of luck. Oh, Sorry, of you know, because you've got Arsene Wenger, right, who brought in Stevie Bowden. Well, Steve was a great player for Arsenal. Tony Adams was Arsenal captain, England captain. Wenger, all he has to do is bring in Tony Adams, an inspirational leader, the crowd love him, testimonial, everything there. He decided not to do that. Mm. If he'd brought Tony Adams in and nurtured him through... Under Arsene Wenger, he could now be the Arsenal manager today. So when you talk yeah, about I managers getting it, jobs, Tone, you also need that little break, that little yeah. bit of luck. Did you, you know, ever get an offer there? No, I offered it. I offered it um, just after Portsmouth and stuff because I helped Harry. Yeah. Uh, we'd won the FA Cup. Um, and I did ask him, but he was... Um, what's the word? Protective. He's, he, he didn't change. He didn't... You know, he, the same stuff that he did in '96 when he came in, he was doing at the end of his career. Mm. Same coach, people, same same methodology. And you were watching the defending, and that was an issue for Arsene Wenger for a while, particularly towards the end. I, I think I could have helped. I think yeah. it could have worked, but it, you know, we we're talking about stuff that never happened, and, yeah, and he yeah. didn't want it to happen. And he and he had a fantastic career, Arsene, at the club, and won lots of stuff. So I can't really argue, John. But I, all I can say is that, you know, I think it, it, it may have worked. It may have mm. worked because I could have definitely, um, um, you know. Offered in my services and in certain areas where I thought was lacking. Well, it's because, interesting. You know, too. I never, he never kind of coached the players, and that's the. It's interesting you say that and you back yourself. Yeah, there's great centre halves, great leaders go on to become really good managers. You've seen yeah. that all the time. Well, that's different but to in, coaching. But in terms of what you're saying, you know, 
So if you feel you could have done really I, I, well. I worked at Portsmouth with Glenn Johnson. I had some good players. Sol Campbell didn't need coaching, to be honest with you. So it's a different type of thing. David James, great goalkeeper. Sylvain Van Disten. So I had a good mm. quality of players. I just had to mm. organise them and put on sessions. They went, yeah, fantastic. When you go to Wickham and they can't clip the ball up the right wing, it's a different ball game. So mm. I had the confidence of doing that with that group of players and, and believed that I could do it for Arsenal. But it just wasn't to be, you know. I could sit here and talk all night. Sadly, we've got to get to a break. The only thing I do want to know, uh, will we see you in a dugout? Will you get into... Do, do you want I've it? I've got the right do you want it? The right person will we see you for in me. the dugout with <laughs> 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 If the suit gets a note back in, mate, the suit can stand yeah. in. <laughs> I'm not sure.